What's up, Ozones? Welcome to the Ozone and welcome to a crazy, crazy video. Ah! We got some leaks. We got some actual security breach leaks. This is absolutely insane. What the hell is this? So basically on the screen, as you can see, there are four achievements that's been leaked. Um, I don't know where the others are. Apparently there's 30 achievements. There's over 30 achievements in the game, which is crazy. But there's these four. Um, this one in particular, the um, this one in particular is very, very strange, as you can see, um, because it has a Fredbear kind of, it has the Fredbear poster icon, and it says travel back to the year 1983. So maybe this is when we're going to be going back to Fredbear's family diner and actually seeing the bite of 83 in We need to talk. What's up Ozones? Welcome to the Ozone and welcome to a very different video. What you just saw was it was not the real me it was the Fazgu ozone obviously it was, it was it was the Fazgu ozone um don't worry about that though but what was wrong with what the Fazgu me said well he didn't do his research you see the leaks look far too good to be true right and honestly i would be so so excited if these were real guys i'm just coming out here and saying it the leaks are completely fake. Don't believe everything that you see on the internet. Um, there's a lot of people out there who will try and manipulate you. There are a lot of people out there who tell lies. And the internet in general isn't really a massively reliable place. Take Wikipedia for example. Wikipedia has information about everything from, I don't know, how we dissect cows and get meat to um, the solar system. And although it has an incredible database of information, it's, it's, it's got so much information on there, how much of it is actually true? I would say a large portion of it, yes, but there are people out there who, who put in the wrong information. And I feel like a lot of people are kind of forgetting that, that things can be fake, which is definitely entirely possible because we haven't had a new game since FNAF AR. What did that come in 2019? I think it came in 2019. That was our last FNAF game. And since then, nothing's come out. We're, we're not really used to getting a new game. And this is the process that we have to go through. There's going to be fake leaks. There's going to be fake information out there. And we need to try and bypass them somehow. So let's talk about this one in particular, uh, about the achievements. So I, I, I really want this video to be a lesson for a lot of you because a lot of people saw this um, and, I, and I was looking through the comments of the tweet that was sent out uh, with this information in it. And a lot of people believed it. A lot of people, they didn't even doubt it for a second. Then I went and checked my Discord server and a lot of people there believed it. My moderators believed this. So really, there is a lesson that needs to be learned here. I'm going to be completely honest as well. I believed it for about two minutes, then I did my research and I realized it's totally not real. And we're gonna discuss it today. It was actually a joke put out by Fiznom, who is the creator of FNAF Plus. Um, if, you, if you look down the side, it says these nuts. All of this was a D's nuts joke. Like, at, at least if you're going to make something like this, make it a good joke. <laughs> I think we should talk about one word. That's two. Uh, I think we should talk about one word, and that one word is reliability. How can you tell if a source or a website is reliable? And I want to iterate here, do not click away from this video because you're going to need this information going forward. A lot of people are out there believing everything they see, that cannot happen. You you cannot believe everything that you set your eyes on. And it's really important that you get this lesson before security breach drops because there's going to be a lot of people out there spreading false information about um, Easter eggs and um, secrets and endings and stuff. Uh, and it's going to be fake all along. So how can you tell if a source is reliable? Well, there are really, really simple steps you can take to figure out if something is reliable or not. Because we know that the Tales from the Pizzaplex book is a real thing, um, let's compare the reliability of this information about the achievements 
to this information about the Tales from the Pizzaplex book. So the first step is who is the author? And of course, how does this source compare to another source? So in our case, Fiznom is the author, creator of uh, FNAF Plus. Because he's the creator of FNAF Plus, that must mean he's true, right? That must mean it's true. Well, no, 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 not necessarily. And I think a key example of this in the FNAF community as well is MatPat. A lot of what MatPat says, people take straight for granted because he is a popular YouTuber. People think that his theories are incredible because of the editing and the way that it's done and because he is a popular YouTuber and people think of YouTubers as almost superheroes when really they are humans just like us, they make mistakes. I think people in the FNAF community f often forget that people are humans and people make mistakes which is where a lot of the toxicity comes in. Anyway, um, Fiznom doesn't really do FNAF news so there's your kind of iffy bit, like why is he suddenly doing this FNAF news kind of thing? But also, of course, he was the only person that ever sent out this tweet and had this information. Where did he get the information from? He didn't really kind of say any specifics or anything. And that's actually our next kind of um, topic is where is the content from? Apparently it's from Security Breach, but it's a massive game and I don't think things are going to get leaked. Security Breach has been worked on for years. I don't think that Steel Wool are just going to let things slip like that. But also, apparently, there's loads of other achievements that he didn't put up, which is kind of sus. He could have, he could have put a link to them, but he didn't. He, he could have added the other achievements, but he didn't. His excuse was that he didn't know if he wanted to share them or not. So, um, that's he's holding things back therefore we cannot be 100% sure that this thing is true. Whereas the Tales from the Pizzaplex book um, came directly from Kobo Rakuten um, which, is, which is a book kind of provider and it literally has the copyright of Scott Cawthon um, and the artwork was done by Lady Fizzy as usual um, so we can say that that is definitely a thing that is definitely a reliable source. And I think the last kind of point is what is the purpose for all of this? And again, it comes under that we don't have any of the other achievements. What is the purpose? Probably not to give us all of the information because he isn't giving us all the information. The purpose is probably that it's some sort of joke, which it was. It was a D's nuts joke. So I think there is a big lesson to be learned here reliability. Make sure you know who the author is, first of all. Uh, secondly, compare it to other sources. Thirdly, where where does it come from? Where does the content come from? And finally, what is the purpose of sharing and what is the purpose of the content? And as I say, this is a thing that you need to know going into Security Breach. Um, I'm so glad that you are watching this because um, I think a lot of people need this, uh, especially if you believed this leak uh, until now. It, um, it's it's officially fake. It's officially fake. That was a very weird way of saying it was fake. It was fake, essentially. Um, so we don't have the achievements. I don't think we're going to get any leaks for Security Breach because uh, Steel will kind of, well, they're, they're, they're good. They're, they're really good game developers and I don't think they're going to let things slip like that, let's be honest. Um, Illumix on the other hand. Okay, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed and uh, I will see you in another one. Goodbye.